You right guys, so uh, this is another video, I can't remember too much about this one either because they're quite old videos. But um, I'm attacking the, I think they're called the Angles right now, I'm playing the Guillotines if you didn't, haven't seen my other videos. If you have I'd probably go advise watching them because they're quite good. Um, I didn't actually realise these were bloody Pokemon I was like, attacking. That's cool, I haven't actually unlocked those yet so that's cool. Um, yeah I've got my troops up here, I'm currently playing as no, my General's Dag. If I'm playing as the um, the Geertes, so yeah, it's, it's, it's not too bad. Um, I have a feeling, yeah, I've got some reinforcements just coming up from this side also, as you can see, and I have a feeling they've got some more reinforcements pushing up too. This is my first um, fog battle as well. Although like, even on Rome, I don't think I ever played a fog battle. But I don't play online or anything either, so yeah, I, I thought they had reinforcements pushing up, so. They have got their units pushing up, and I'll quickly fast forward it a little bit just so I can get the, so you can get the gist of it. Otherwise, we'll be hit here for like 15 minutes just watching the units moving around. What I do have a, I have a feeling that what what happened here was I wanted to go take their base, and I attacked them a couple of times. I had to keep reloading saves because it was just I was doing it wrong more or less. So I brought both of my garrisons down. I have Dag, who's my actual high king, and the like. Heir to the throne being brought up. I think that guy who's being brought up here right now is actually the heir to the throne. Uh, with Dag, who's over here somewhere, over his ear actually. He's in here somewhere. Yeah, you can see him with his brown hair. <coughs> yeah, I'll bring my troops up into the, some sort of formation. I wasn't really too with what was going on, but I had quite a high chance of winning anyway. Yeah, if you didn't notice, I just put uh, in fast forward, so I was ready. But I, I couldn't actually see the troops moving up. So as you you can see them on the map, obviously right now, but the troops are pushing up. So I bring out these just weak Nordic hurlers. I get them to go for a bit of a jog, even though they're probably exhausted already. <laughs> but they're very tired, barely alive. As you can see on the map, I was pushing them out just to find some troops. And I'll, I'll notice them in a minute on the map that I've actually come into. They've come into the radius and I'm like, oh shit, they're bloody coming! Because I thought they might have just been stood there, waiting for me to go attack them. So I'm, I'm bringing my hurlers back as fast as I can, even though they're dying. While all these troops, I, I can only see the like... A couple of these Nordic bows as well, and I don't even think I could see these pikes to be honest. I think it was just these Nordic bows that were coming up. So I brought my troops back as fast as I could, try and have some sort of like formation. I had no idea what I was about to expect either. And this was more or less the outcome. So I'll return it to normal speed. My troops can now see them. Appearing through the fog as well. As you can see on the right hand side, they are pushing their sworded cavalry, I think that is. I'm not too sure what weapons they are using. Let's let me leave cavalry. See, so it might be just clubs to be honest. Or well, maybe a small spear. Yeah, they use the spears. But they are pushing straight up, straight towards my troops. They are fresh and ready. Half of mine are fresh and then the rest are all knackered. I don't know if they still are knackered, I think they might have recovered. Yeah, some of these are still very tired. The cab's pushing up here. So I rain a ton of fire down, see as many as I can take out as I can. And I'm pretty sure I pushed these spearmen up in a minute as well. There you go. It's quite a big battle to be honest. They push their war dogs up as well. So I, I go straight in there with my spearmen, take out as many dogs and people as I can. Yeah, push up even more onto there, whatever these are. Nordic band, so just shitty swordsmen. They've got even more dogs here as well. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. 
But it was a, it was a hell of a big battle, especially for how recent I've had the game as well. It was a lot for me to take in. And I've, I've never actually used a dog before either, so I wouldn't really know what was I was expecting. There was a shit ton of dogs actually coming in there, rinsing the shit out of me. But there's just not doing anything. Just kind of stood looking. Trying to stab the dogs. <laughs> Why these spearmen here? Well, they got their back to my flame, flaming archers. So. I rarely use the archers anymore, actually. I kind of just use the spearmen. Get them to throw a ton of spears in. And it looks like there is a lot of dogs over here as well. I'm not sure if they're actually in use or if they're not dead yet. But up here, they're quite, quite a lot of them are dead. I use these units to push back over here. I wanted to take out these Onagas. So obviously they're raining fire down, and I noticed that they were taking out a fair decent amount as well. Actually, that, that just hit their own troops. And they hit a fair amount of their own troops then as well. It still wasn't what I was after. As you can see, I have taken out a couple of their troops here. And I'm bringing it back round onto these ones. And now I'm retreating. They haven't surrendered yet, but they're not having a good time. This was, it was quite hectic. I thought I was going to lose this uh, for a vast amount of the battle. Just finish them off with some nice flame shot. I should focus a lot of them on here in a minute. There we go. Hopefully that's some flame shot being pushed onto there as well. Oh, obviously they're getting in the way. <laughs> ton of arrows and stones and shit being launched at these guys. There's the general dead. <coughs> oh, maybe I, maybe I didn't take their Onigas out. Maybe I must have pulled my troops back. I know I did want to take them out, but I guess it might, it might I needed my troops for other situations. As you can see, a lot of their troops are retreating them. Because obviously they haven't got any influence by the generals either. That just looks awesome, look at that fire flying through the sky. More troops retreat in there. One of our units can no longer fire. Gotcha. I don't know if there's any more dogs for those troops there, no, it doesn't look like it. The Onigas are still firing. They need one out of them actually, I don't know. I think I must have just kind of gave up paying attention to them at one point. A lot of people dead on the battlefield. Though. Oh god, that took a fat out of there. And these spearmen straight into their spearmen. Got some swordsmen here as well. A ton of swordsmen fighting down here against my archers and slingers. That fire raining down on them. Well, as you can see, there's only two, two units left that still have their morale, but just about. Yeah, my swordman come in and push them back. One more appear, and I think he's, I think the last guy's probably about to die now. <laughs> Forty seconds of the match left, and everyone's retreating. That guy is flaming. Oh, stab him! Give him some!
Now, I do think about pushing my troops up, but then I realise that these guys are so far out, that's no, no point, so... <coughs> that's the end of that. And in the next video, I will push up into their base and, well, take their land for my own. If you like this video, feel free to like it, and if you want to see some more, feel free to drop a sub and give me some loving, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.